This presentation is on how temperature affects solubility. Hopefully, by the end of this presentation, you'll be able to give definitions for the key terms solute, solvent, solution, and solubility. You'll be able to describe what happens to liquid particles when they are heated. And you should be able to describe how temperature affects solubility. So what is a solution? There are many common solutions found in everyday life. These include coffee, seawater, and the blue copper sulfate solution. Copper sulfate is a frequently used chemical in school demonstrations, so you will definitely come across it. So what actually is a solution? Well, a solution is a special type of mixture now, a mixture is two or more substances that are mixed together but are not chemically joined. In this example, there are two types of particle mixed together, but there are no bonds formed, so the particles are not joined together. Now, a solution is when a solid dissolves and mixes with a liquid. The solid is termed solute, and the liquid is called a solvent. When the solute and the solvent mix together, they form a solution. So how do the solids actually mix with the liquids? Now particles are not held in a rigid structure like solids and thus can move over each other. As they are moving in random directions, gaps are left between the particles. The solid particles therefore are able to fill these gaps. Now this requires some of the bonds between the solid particles to be broken. The energy for this comes from the liquid. The process of the solid dissolving into the liquid can be speeded up by either adding energy through stirring or by heating the chemicals. Now for a variety of reasons, some solids will not mix with certain liquids, whilst other solids will only mix if you force them to through intense stirring or heating. The solubility of a solid in a specific liquid is how much of that solid will mix with a certain amount of the liquid at a given temperature. Now changes to the temperature can cause changes to the solubility. This means at different temperatures different amounts of the solid can dissolve into the same amount of liquid. So if you have a liquid and you heat it, the liquid expands. There are the same number of particles and the particles remain the same size. The main difference is therefore are that the particles move faster because they have absorbed more energy and that the gaps between the particles increase in size. This means that there is more space that can be filled by solid particles. Hence, heating the solution increases the amount of solid that can fit into the liquid and therefore increases the solubility. The key point, therefore, is that solubility generally increases as the temperature increases. So by now, you should be able to give definitions for the key terms solute, solvent, solution, and solubility. You should be able to describe what happens to liquid particles when they are heated. And you should be able to describe how temperature
affects solubility. Now don't forget to fill in the worksheets.